Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I want to start, uh, I want to jump on a thread um, that I believe was started by Calum Rhodes about um, just talking about band names. And I saw um, Rob Walker do uh, an entry into this thread, basically just talking about band names we like, band names we don't like, maybe band names that we thought were stupid in the beginning and now we like them, or maybe band names that we've never liked. So just a little discussion about uh, naming our bands. I will leave a link to Calum Rhodes' channel below, and I will also leave a link to Rob Walker's channel below. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff, a bunch of um, records and CDs here to show you, and let's just talk about some band names. Now, this is a really crazy band name. I named, Who would ever name their band John? Oh, I'm sorry, wait, that was the wrong one. All right, so this is the one I wanted to show you. This is the, for me, the ultimate band name that is a shocker for me, the Butthole Surfers. And when I first heard that name, I'm like, what in the hell are they about? Well, it's the perfect name for these guys because these guys are one of the craziest bands I've ever known. Um, I love this album, Rembrandt Pussy Horse. I love Hairway to Steven. And I love the album P.O.'d. They do a kick-ass version of the Hurdy Gurdy Man on here. But Butthole Surfers, crazy name. Uh, you know, when you first hear Bread, it's like, you know, you can picture some guys sitting around, hey, what should we name our band? How about Bread? And it's, it's one of those names, I think, that the more you say it, it's just, we're called Bread. And now you don't really think twice about it, but... If you think three times about it, you start to go, hmm, that's a little strange. Nectar. Interesting name. <clears throat> a lot of my punk bands have interesting names. Saccharin Trust. Sort of a strange name for a band, but it fits the music. The Alternatives. Cool play on words. Alternatives. Alternatives. This is one that could be offensive. I, I talked about this one with uh, Rob Walker the other day, the Tar Babies. This is a name that is always sort of like, I, I think about it, I'm like, what the heck does it mean? It's gotta mean something. The Jesus and Mary Chain. Okay, so I know who Jesus is, who's Mary Chain? Is that like Mary Magdalene and I don't know. Then you've got those power names, you know, those, um, um, acronyms, DRI, Dirty Rotten Imbeciles, MOD, Method of Destruction. You know what you're going to get with those names. You've got some names like the Bare Naked Ladies. Yeah, that was clever. Can you picture that up on a marquee? Tonight, Bare Naked Ladies. Yeah, you'd have all the guys and I guess some gals going. BR549. Some names are just letters and numbers. These guys are a cool country band. They sort of harken back to that Hank Williams sound, BR549. Then you've got some metal names like Amon Amarth. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds heavy. Amon Amarth, Blood Incantation. Here's some more strong names. Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, some names just evoke an image or an, an emotion. Blue Oyster Cult, cool name. Anything with iron in it, iron butterfly. This was a cool name because the iron symbolizing something heavy, the butterfly symbolizing something light, kind of putting both those shades into their music. Um, one of the best names ever, Iron Maiden. You know what you're going to hear when you see and Read the name Iron Maiden, even the logo, how it's written, the font. This is a name that even spoken in 2020 can send shivers down your spine. Black Sabbath. That is a kick-ass name. That could be one of the best band names ever. Because you know what you're going to hear.
just a few more because I don't want to make a long video. I'm into these short videos lately. Budgie. Pretty Little Bird, kick-ass band. Dead Kennedys, perfect name, political band. Anytime you put dead in the mix, like the dead milkman, the dead Kennedys, you know what you're gonna get. This is a cool name, Camper Van Beethoven. Who would have thunk it? And I'm gonna leave you with this one. And this is going to be my question. Do you say Celtic Frost or Celtic Frost? I say Celtic Frost. This is their album, Vanity Nemesis. I think I, show, I saw Ron Haggerty showing this one. Very cool record. So there you go. There's my discussion on names of bands. Um, again, probably the weirdest one I'd probably have to say is the Butthole Surfers. And one that I'm still questioning to this day. What does the Jesus and Mary chain mean? Is there anybody out there who can tell me? Listen to music.